Disaster Zone Avalanches. Table of Contents. Chapter 1, It's an Avalanche. Chapter 2, Deadly Avalanches. Chapter 3, Staying Safe. Activities and Tools. Try this. Glossary. Index to learn more. Chapter 1. It's an avalanche. You are driving on a mountain road. Look, up ahead. Snow is sliding down the mountain. You pull over and watch. The snow picks up speed. It rushes towards the road. It's an avalanche. Luckily, it's a small one. Drivers saw it. They were able to stop. No one was hurt. However, you were stuck. There was a big pile of snow and debris on the road. You have to wait for a plow. Did you know, in about five seconds, a slide can reach speeds of 80 miles per hour. Avalanches happen when snowpack becomes unstable and breaks off. Many things can trigger them. Earthquakes, warm weather, and wind are triggers. Sometimes skiers and hikers call slides. Sometimes they are big slides. Sometimes they are small. Did you know? Loose snow avalanches are called sloughs. Slab avalanches are very dangerous. They happen when a hard layer of snow sits on top of a weak, soft layer. The soft layer cannot support the heavy, hard layer. It breaks off. The slab slides. As it slides, it picks up snow, rocks, and trees. It can move up to 200 miles per hour. Take a look. What does an avalanche look like? Strong slab. Weak, loose layer. Packed snow. Mountain. Chapter 2. Deadly Avalanches. In 1970, an earthquake caused part of a glacier to collapse in Peru. The result was deadly. Giant chunks of ice fell. They slid down the mountain. As they slid, the rock, they picked up mud and rocks. Two towns were buried. About 20,000 people died. From 1950 to 1951, there were more than 600 avalanches in Europe. More than 265 people died over three months. It was known as the Winter of Terror. Where do they happen? Most avalanches occur in snowy mountainous regions. Chapter 3. Staying Safe How can you stay safe? Do not go to areas that are prone to slides. Never explore mountains alone. If you are playing in the mountain snow, always have safety gear. A beacon sends out signals if you're buried. Use a shovel to dig out others. A probe pokes in the snow to look for buried people. Beacon. Probe. If you see a slide, get out of the way. Move to the side and grab a tree. If you get caught in it, make swimming motions to stay on top. If you are buried, dig an air pocket around your mouth, then spit. That will tell you which way is up. Be prepared and you can stay safe in an avalanche. Did you know, dogs are trained to find buried people. One can search two and a half acres in 30 minutes. It takes 20 people about four hours to cover the same area.